After I went to the Marine Corps, I started doing art again. I started airbrushing. And I'd say that's actually the beginning of me pursuing a career as an artist. From that point forward, the painting that I remember that I realized, you know, I had kind of making a breakthrough as an artist to some degree was this painting that I did. It's called, it was called, um, it is called Frustration. The painting quickly went bad for me, you know? It just like, it wasn't working out. It started to really get to me that basically wasn't working out the way I planned on it working out. So I basically took a, a step back and thought to myself, you know, art's not supposed to be frustrating like this. You know, there's nothing fun about this, and if this is the way it's gonna be, it's not gonna be something I'm gonna wanna pursue. So I just they started taking paint, you know, from the bottle and just like splashing it all over the canvas and, and just having a good time. And the painting wound up coming out pretty good. You know, in the end, I wound up putting it together, and I realized at that point in time that, you know, I started to understand what it's gonna take to be an artist. You know, there was always those kind of influences in my life, you know, whether your parents or friends or whatever saying, you know, maybe you should really just get a, get a regular job and settle down. And although that was kind of like static noise in the back, it never really held me back. It's important a lot of times to be able to have someone stand behind you and say, you know, this is really good stuff and you should keep going. It definitely paid off, there's no doubt about that. The place is beyond what we could have, I could have ever imagined it being. It's become its own entity. It's the C-flat, it's got its own deal. It manifested itself through us. Yeah, and as far as anything that you know I've ever created or built, I'm most proud of this place. The amount of work that went into this place is actually a little bit beyond comprehension. We had no idea what we were getting into. There was only one way to go, and that was forward. Yeah, once we ripped that first wall down. <laughs> it was, yeah. And I got electrocuted the first day. <laughs> you got shocked. <laughs> I got shocked. You got shocked bad. Bad. What was it, six months? Six months of building. Six months of building and finishing to get the place to an opening. And that was pretty much every day, you know, all day, every day. Yeah, I think we worked like a solid four days, four days a week, right? Yeah. Four or five days a week. Pretty much. And it was from tearing down walls to tearing down ceilings, ripping out wires, plumbing. I mean, everything from soup to nuts. I mean, from A to Z, we did it. give one bit of advice to anybody that wants to pursue art as a career is that if it's something that burns inside of you that you love to do that much don't ever ever stop doing it don't let anybody tell you you can't